We turn a blind eye to the issues we create when the impact of our actions appear indirect. We look the other way when the problems we forge cause suffering to those we cannot see. What's one's convenient is another's concern. We are blind to the battle that we are creating. But are we blind by ignorance? Or blind by choice? The day I found her was the day I knew knew what we had done had harmed our own. With a fading beauty and a song once so pure, her dignity diminished by the actions of the everyman. The bottles we once knew to carry messages across the shores, the rope we once knew to lend a hand to those in need. Now, leave a body trapped and choked entangled in what now appears to be an inevitable demise. She lay still, weak, unloved, uncared for, her song stamped out, her home polluted, polluted by us, polluted by man. I would look to find her, longing to once again be reunited with her beauty. An exhibition of an artificial way of life. Her natural charm absent from what stood before me. I long to see her again in a state of peace and purity where the pollution and the befouling ceases to exist. Others saw her too, but chose to forget. It's what we do as humans, isn't it? We view, we sympathise, but then block out the reality when it suits us. It can be difficult to undo the actions of the past, sometimes impossible, but the continuous choices made by man and whether we choose to replace ignorance with cognizance will be vital in determining the state of the future. A single use often leads to a single disposal but a single disposal does not always lead that object to its end.
When we dispose, we discard, yet expose another to what could be avoided. A cheap and convenient way of life? <laughs> A cheap and cruel means of death. <laughs> 